friends I am Greens for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. Before that I would like to wish all my viewers across the globe a very happy and prosperous new year 2020. Welcome to the very new year and I wish you luck for the upcoming year on all your future aspects regarding your career as well as a good luck for the future endeavors. So we are in chapter one and we are looking at the next topic that is 1.8 evaluating exit criteria and reporting. Do remember that the test analyst syllabus is still based on the uh, principles of the previous labels of foundation. So we uh, have these stages as per the uh, previous uh, standards. But uh, the activities would remain the same, so there's nothing to worry about. And most probably, maybe they will revise the syllabus for the test analyst soon. But as of now, we do not have any expectations on these. So let's continue further. When you talk about evaluating exit criteria and reporting, that is done post the test execution is all over. So generally, we want to understand, first of all, what is exit criteria. So from the test planning, we already know that the entry and exit criteria are determined during the test planning activity or test planning phase, where generally the activities uh, of preparing the entry and exit criteria determine what activities or what task must be done before starting an event or phase. And at the same way, in the same manner, uh, what activities must be completed before calling off a particular level or a particular cycle and you call it as exit criteria. So similarly, the exit criteria will be prepared during the test planning phase and will be monitored consistently during the test execution. Because at every point of time when you complete a particular milestone, you need to measure with respect to the exit criteria at how much we have achieved and how much more we have to go. Doing this consistently can also help you to determine that if you are getting deviated from the exit criteria to be met, thus it will help you to determine the right orientation towards meeting the expectations or at the time or the schedule which is determined. So it's more important and critical for a test analyst to make sure that when it comes to the execution part, everything is well monitored and what is determined in exit criteria is detailed so that it can help you during the expectations meet at the end of the cycle during the test execution to determine have we done what we were supposed to do. So at the same time, similarly, when it comes to the execution, we also measure that how many test cases have passed, how many test cases have failed, if you have marked certain test cases with expect, um, exception that these are passed, then you need to dig them in detail to make sure that there is no clarity issue for those kind of uh, status. For an example, when you talk about the past with exceptions, it generally means that possibly there are a few things which were observed, but there's nothing important related to the uh, details of the uh, input what is supposed to be provided at the time of defect. So it was not probably a defect, but what having some kind of key area which was supposed to be concentrated on. So can you really exclude that? Do you want to consider it as failed? So everything has to be evaluated with these kind of status by the test analyst to make sure that nothing goes out of our hand. And at the end, basically when it comes to the exit criteria, it is not limited to only execution. We also make sure that what kind of defects are still open. There are no priority one, severity one defects are open. What kind of uh, coverage you have achieved? Or what budget are you remaining with? What cost you have invested so far? Is there anything else to be done if you're having enough time to do some additional testing? What area should you concentrate on? So exit criteria can be customizable. You can have specific to your organization and it's nothing specific, but yeah, it has to be really important when you determine it during the test planning itself. So consistently you coordinate with the test manager to make sure that the exit criteria are efficient and that helps you determine completion of any activity. Reporting generally helps you to prepare the uh, test summary report, which will be completed once you call off the cycle and exit criteria is met. So, more you know from foundation in detail, so I won't like to make this tutorial longer. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Thanks for watching the video. 
if in case you have any query beyond this feel free to comment below i'll be there to address your queries should you have anything else make sure you understand explore and learn something about it so thanks for watching the video team till then take care and happy learning